Hey everyone, it's Breezy Bree, and today I'm going to be discussing VSG and the shenanigans that's been happening to me. So thank you so much for tuning in. I greatly appreciate it. It is so, 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 so appreciated. I don't know why I said that like 82,000 times, but I mean it. And if you have any questions, concerns, or comments, please do so below. Alright, let's get to it. Um, first off, thank you for uh, the video, Kicking It With T. I appreciate it. I ended up getting my hair did. I did my own hair. I put it up in a bun myself. Um, I did some passion twists. So they're a play on passion twists because they don't go all the way down to the bottom. But um, I just kind of left the ends a little frayed at the ends because it was um, some wavy hair. And I got my my little edges snitched if you can see they little snitched right there and right there you know everybody saying snitched so I just got them snitched not snitched out but they snitched in and the back of my kitchen is snitched too you can't see it but it's snitched too I put a little bit of edge control on that too so anyway I just wanted to say thank you for kicking it with T because um, she just replayed the video and replayed it. And she did a slow-mo, which really helped the slow people in the world because this is the first time I've ever done this to my hair. And I greatly appreciate it. So anyway, um, the shenanigans that's been happening to me. So it's been three weeks, right? I have been waiting on my surgery date for three entire weeks. Do you know what's going on in three weeks? In three weeks, I've done food funerals. In three weeks, I bought every item pre-op and post-op that I'm probably ever supposed to have that I can stuff in this little walk-in closet of a kitchen that I have. So I'm, I'm planning, I'm preparing. I'm, the only thing I have not done is cleaned out my closet to organize my clothing items so that I have them when, after surgery so that I'll be comfortable. That's the only thing that I have not done. I've done everything else like, and I've been waiting. So the don't call me, I'll call you lady. I finally reached out and made a call because I checked my medical insurance provider and I did not see a claim. Like, you ain't put no claim in? Like, you didn't do the paperwork? Like, this been since the 22nd of March. It's the... What's the it's, it's, it's April now. It's the mid, middle of April. It's about to be the end of April. It's probably April 18th now, April 7th. Oh, no, it's not. Good Lord. It's probably like the 14th, 15th. I don't know what day it is. It's Saturday, though. It's the 13th, 13th. So I've been waiting, and I'm like, well, when are you going to call me back? So I just reached out, and I called, and I said, well, I haven't seen anything from the medical insurance provider that says that it's been processed, to say that I have, I have a date, to say any of this, that it's been approved. None of that. I haven't seen any of that lady. And she calls me right away. And she says, so somebody must have called her to call me. So she says, I was just about to call you. Okay. Okay. So I said, well, all right. So she, she finally... You know, works out all of the the shenanigans that she was doing. And she gives me a date. And my date that we agreed upon is June 5th of 2019. June 5th, June 5th, 2019, 2019. Woo! If I can do fireworks in this, I think I am. But just imagine them with me. If I can't get the edits in, just imagine them. Just imagine them. They're happening right now. Right now. Um, so June 5th is my date. I did not pick May. Um, I did not pick... Um, I, didn't, I don't think April was available at this particular time. Just because of the shenanigans that were going on. But um, it looks like June 5th is, is the date. And that is a Wednesday. And um, I'm looking forward to it. So thanks so much for tuning in. And I'm going to pretty much sign off until um, I get into my pre-op diet. So thank you so much and have a great day. Bye.